So today I'm here to show you how to create a lightsaber. So around May of last year, I created a short uh, with me with a lightsaber in one hand and saying, if you want to learn this, follow me. But I didn't make this video earlier because that in that time my knowledge was not that great and I didn't like the way that I did it and I don't want to show you that way. So now I think I know a little bit more and I decided to create this video to explain you how you can create it with a more realistic uh, way. So let me show you what I'm going to teach you to create today. So let's go to the computer. So here we are inside of the edit page and I want to show you, let me put it to play. So this is, I think this is more realistic than let me show you the old version is this one. So let me show you, look. So I don't think that this was good enough. And I think the new version is a little bit better. So let me show you how you can create that new version. So it's easy. So let's start with our clip, the base clip where, where the clip of me with the, a torch in my hand. So let me put that video in here. I know that I'm going to use the last part of the, the video. So let me come here somewhere around here. I'm going to cut it. And let's put it where I want it to start. So I want to start from somewhere around here. Let's cut it. So since we're going to work in the Fusion page, we're going to work just in the part of the video where I want the lightsaber to appear. So let's see where it's going to appear. Something in here, as you can see, I'm over here. I'm imagining that is a button over there. So I'm going to here so let's cut it over here and let's see where i press it again somewhere around here so this is the part that i want the lightsaber to turn on and turn off so let's go into the fusion with the part where we want the lightsaber to appear so this is the part let's go to the fusion page and in the fusion page now we have the media in and the media out and nothing more so everything that we create in between of these two nodes, it's what's going to show. So let's start adding here a background node. This one is going to be transparent. It's for just for the base line. So let's add another one. And this one is going to be the one part of the lightsaber. I'm going to change the color to red, something like this. And I want to add here this, the polygon tool. Over here, I'm going to connect the polygon tool to here and I'm going to connect it to the background and it creates this merge. Let's put, let's put this merge in the viewer one. I'm going to come here to the polygon tool and I'm going to come here and I'm going to real close to the center. I'm going to click here and let me resize it somewhere around here. I'm going to click it again. It creates a straight line, but you have to close it. So you have to come back again and go to the, the first point. As you can see, it changes and press it again. Now it's closed. Now with the polygon tool selected, come here where it says solid. As you can see, it's selected. Let's unselect that and let's go to the border width. Let me increase a little bit of the border width. We can see it over here. I'm going to increase it a little bit more. And I'm going to come here to the soft edge and let me add some softness. Okay. Now let's copy the polygon node and let's paste it as an instance. To do that, you just have to press Control, Shift and V. And immediately you see that it creates this with the uh, green line. It means that one is connected to the other. So any change that you do in one of those nodes, it will be reflected in the other one. I already made a video explaining how to um, do this and how the instance works. So you can go and watch it. It's somewhere in the corner of this video. So let's continue. So now I'm going to change the name. So this one is going to be, let's press F2. It's going to be the glow. And this one is going to be the core. Okay. So now let's add here another background node. 
connect it and, and connect this one to the output of this one. Let's put this in the viewer one. Let's come here to the background three, that is the core color, and let's change it to something like this. And now we're gonna come to the core, that is the, the one that is at instance, and we're gonna de-instance two parameters, the soft edge and the border width. Let's right click and come here to the de-instance and select this one and do the same and de-instance. Now we can change this over here without changing in this node over here. So I'm gonna come here to the soft edge and reduce it a little bit and I'm gonna re put it a little bit more thinner. So now we have the beginning of our lightsaber. Now let me add some movement to the glow. Let me add over here, let's select the merge one and I'm gonna put the glow in between these two merge, shift space, press shift space and this select tool will appear and type glow and select this one and add it over here. Now let's add the node that is gonna create the movement. So it's this one, so it's the fast noise node. Let's connect it to over here. Let's put the fast noise in the viewer one and as you can see, is this over here? Let's come here to the inspector and I'm gonna add some detail and I'm gonna add some contrast and I'm gonna scale it to the max. And let's put this here, this one here. And I wanna come to the glow and I'm gonna increase a little bit of the glow size and of the glow. So now, as you can see, we have some irregularities over here, so it's not straight. I'm going to add some movement to the glow. So let's go to the fast noise. Let's go to here. Let's go here to the seed rate. If I change it over here, look, we, we can see that we have some movement. So let's animate this. So right click over here and modify with anim curves. Go to the modifier over here. In, in the curve instead of linear, I'm gonna use custom. I'm gonna press this one and I'm gonna adjust here the, the handle a little bit. And now if I play it, look, we have some movement over there. And of course you can adjust the glow now. Let's see. Let me move a little bit of the blend so it will be more realistic. And you can adjust also hear the fast noise, so I'm gonna come here, let me reduce a little bit of the contrast. We have a little bit of less movement, so it's okay. You can adjust this and refine everything, but I hope you are understanding right now. So now we have it here, let's add, after this one, I'm gonna add here a, a transform node. You will see why, I'm gonna put it over here. and. As you can see, if I play it, look to my hands, you see that we have some movement in the hands. So I want to add a tracker. So let me put it here. Let's select the media in shift space and look for tracker. Select this one and add it. I'm going to put it somewhere around here. Let's go to the operation over here in the specter, change it to match move. Go again to the tracker. Now let's move here the tracker to the position where we wanted to track. I'm gonna put it over here because it's a high contrast area and it will track better. So let me resize a little bit of these windows. And let's come here and track to the end. I, in the operation, I do, didn't change anything just to match move. And it's done. So now we can connect this to the tracker and now we can come here to the transform and put it over there. So let me come here, put it somewhere around here and I'm gonna come here to the angle. And I think it's okay. And I think the movement, it's okay. Probably this one is too big. Let me resize it just a little bit, the core and have a little bit more softness, so I think it's better, so you can adjust everything as you go, so it's done. Now let's go to the glow here, 
and let's add the movement so the the lightsaber stretch and then closing so we come here to the length add the keyframe over here let's jump somewhere around here add another keyframe come somewhere around here add another keyframe to the to the end add another keyframe in this one i wanted to zero let's go to the first one and add it to zero and now if we play it look we have right here but as you can see it's small so let's increase the size in here let's go to the transform let's go to the size and resize it a little bit now it's better now i'm going to add a little bit more realistic sh not a shadow a reflection over here so i'm going to add a reflection here in the table so i'm going to add another transform node over here and i'm going to i'm going to connect it to here in this merge and i'm going to connect it to here and now you see another one over here so i'm going to rotate it something like this and i'm going to move it to the place where i want to be somewhere around here probably a little bit more like this and as you can see we have it over there but i first of all i want to add here some a corrector node color corrector node because I want to adjust this because it's too bright and I want to come here to the gain and I'm going to reduce a little bit of the gain and remove a little bit of the saturation no, no, it's not that much so it will be better but I want this to be a little bit better so I don't want it to come to this one I want to let me unselect this I want to put this over here and i want to put this over here and i want to connect the transform over here you will see why i'm doing that because what i'm going to do now if i do it the way it was it will show some movement and i don't want so to remove this i want to add here another polygon mask because i want to mask the area where the the reflection appears so i'm going to connect this to over here and now i'm going to select this area over here where i want the as you can see let me zoom in to adjust this perfectly like this and now you see the reflection over there and if i play it you see that we have some movement we have movement in the reflection, but we don't have movement of the tracker. Now I'm going to come here and I'm going to add in this to merge. I'm going to add a polygon, another polygon tool over here. I'm going to connect it to this one first and I'm going to come here and I'm going to do something like this, this, this and this. And I'm going to invert like this. And I'm going to add some soft edge, something like this. And I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to adjust the handles a little bit. And I'm going to put connect it over here too. Now, because I don't want the some spilling over here let's put it like this and like this so i hope you are understanding what i'm doing over here so let's go to the edit page and now we are in the edit page so if i play it look it will appear we'll have that and we have the reflection over here and i don't know if you noticed even when it's closing look the reflection is doing exactly the same. Now it's very easy, just add some audio. I already have it here, so you can put it here and adjust the way you want, something like this, and it's done. And now if I play it, as you can see, 
it's struggling because it has a lot of effects. And I hope this is more realistic than the other one. In my opinion, it is. So I hope you learned something today and that this was helpful. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button. That helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And hit that notification bell to be notified next time on TV. Until there. Bye.